everyone welcome back to the channel this is kushboo and today we are going to talk about women engineering program so this was formerly known as women tech makers in engineering fellow program it is a two year long program which is only for the first year girl students if you are one of them this is definitely for you so as i am a past 2020 scholar my dms and emails are full with a lot of lot of doubts about the new changes in this program about the language preferences and a lot of stuff so i wanted to make it all clear so stay tuned till the end of this video and get answers to all of your queries firstly for all the new viewers let me tell you what is this program all about so women engineering program is a two year long program by talent sprint and it is also supported by google so in this program they are going to provide you a lot of mentorship and resources and a lot of different webinars and seminars through which you are going to get guidance and this program aims to provide you industry like experience so so oh, it is a two year long program it have 500 seats it is only for the first year girl students and the applications are open till 21st march the selection will have three rounds firstly this application then there is going to be your aptitude test then there is going to be your english test and then there is going to be your technical test Uh, in which they will provide you some resources and they will teach you for 2 weeks and then they are going to take your test and after that there will be a selection round in which you will get to know how much scholarship you have got and are you selected or not so let's talk about the fees of this program so the fees of the program is 3 lakh rupees and there is a mandatory 25% off for everyone so it is like 2 lakh 25000 for everyone but based on your test they are going to give 100 students full 100% scholarship so you have don't have to pay anything the next 200 students are going to get uh, 50% scholarship and the next 300 will only have the 25% scholarship so let's discuss some common questions i get every day first is this online or offline so this year it is a complete online program in 2019 it was completely offline and you have to fly all over to the hyderabad to go there and attend your classes in 2020 it was supposed to be offline but due to the covid 19 we have to stay in our homes and it got converted to completely online and now from now on it is going to be online only so this is an online program the second very common doubt is what are the preferred languages for the test so in my time it was python but as i have talked to my mentor she have assured me that there are going to be options this year you will have options in the language so you can choose from them so most probably you are not going to get any problem like you don't know this language or you don't know that language and even if you uh, face any issue like that they are going to provide you two weeks to prepare for it they are going to provide you the resources for it and you are going to have two or three classes in those two weeks so that you can learn from their mentors only and then they are going to take your test so this is a full proof plan actually you can easily prepare for it the third very common question i am getting is i can't afford to pay 1 lakh rupees so should i apply or should i not so my suggestion will be don't think about the fees first you can apply you will uh, apply for the program give all the test and then if you get selected then think about it whether you want to go ahead with it or not so uh, if you get 100% scholarship then definitely you can be part of this program if you get uh, 20% if you get 25% or 50% then you can think about it that do you think is it worth enough or do you think it is not it is completely up to you and if you think that you can't afford but you are getting the scholarship then definitely they are going to see your financial background also so if they will feel that you are you can't afford the program but you deserve to be here then you probably get the scholarship another doubt i am getting is i am in electronics can i apply people from csc it ec triple e all can apply and even if you think your uh, branch is not applicable then also you should apply maybe you get the chance to become part of this program who knows yes. now let's talk about the application process so for the aptitude test you don't need a lot of preparation for that uh, for every test whenever you are going to get the link on your mail you are going to get a sample test also so i will highly recommend you to uh, attempt that sample test and then uh, so that you can get an idea that you are going to get in the exam okay 
and uh, and after giving that sample test you can search questions like that on the internet and then you can prepare for the aptitude test same for the english you are going to get a sample a uh, test for that and uh for the coding part yes you need to prepare so so firstly it is not disclosed till now that what is going to happen in the uh, coding test is 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 it going to be in c++ or python but for now you can just keep uh, you can just keep practicing in whatever language you are comfortable with and uh, then if you want if you have to switch to another language in those two weeks it is not going to be that difficult because it is not difficult to switch a language it is difficult to learn your first language so that's the thing okay another question so are they going to give you anything any amount of scholarship so no they are not going to pay you anything like in our cohort we got 2 lakh rupees scholarship uh, because that was like a travel grant so as we have to move to hyderabad so it was kind of a travel grant from for that accommodation but this time as it is converted to completely online that's why they are not providing any as such uh, scholarship in terms of amount so uh, the only thing is you don't have to pay any fees if you get the scholarship so i hope i made this very clear and i have taken all of your doubts if you still have any doubts put them in the comment below and i will reply to all of them and you can also mail me your queries at this mail and I will see you all next time. Please like the video, share it with all your friends, and at least apply for the program for the sake of experience. And I will see you all next time.